The PKK's jugular vein can be severed by anti-materialist intellectual propaganda. The PKK, a Marxist-Leninist terrorist organization, draws its real strength from the Darwinist materialist propaganda it disseminates. It acquires supporters through that propaganda. It causes young people to head off to the mountains through that propaganda. And through that propaganda, it turns its supporters into killing machines that murder without batting an eyelid, bomb police stations, kill civilians, and even slay their own friends. O katiller kurtulabilmek için yaralı arkadaşlarını bile öldürmekten geri durmuyor. The images you will soon be seeing show the Marxist-Leninist propaganda that a group of terrorists in southeast Turkey unleashed on people for hours when they stopped them on the road. These images you are seeing are just one example of events that take place frequently in the region. Members of the terror organization who infiltrate the ordinary public seize every opportunity to spread their communist propaganda. They engage in Darwinist materialist indoctrination in villages, towns, cyber cafes, in people's homes, at weddings, and at meetings. And they subject the people they influence by these means to months of intensive Marxist-Leninist indoctrination, both night and day. The end result of that intensive indoctrination is people who believe that everything is the work of blind chance and in the dialectic view of history, and who think that conflict is a necessary component of life, and that ruthlessness, conflict, and war are prerequisites for progress. These people, who imagine that the ideology for which they kill and die is scientific, persist in their acts of terror with a self-confidence born out of ignorance. Sadly, this is because the Darwinist materialist education they are given depicts armed conflict as a necessary component of revolution, and that revolution is the only means by which society can progress. People do not join the PKK for no reason. They do not, as they sit at home, suddenly think to themselves, I'm bored, let me grab my gun and go off and be a terrorist. They have to be trained. They are educated toward that right from primary and middle school. Marxist-Leninist, Darwinist materialist propaganda is disseminated at length. Once a person has become a Marxist, a Darwinist, a Leninist, he assumes a different state of mind entirely. He becomes a totally different person. Many people never consider that. In other words, once he has literally fallen for the snare of Marxism and Leninism, his body literally changes, his whole body. He becomes an entirely different entity. Pride and arrogance follow. Killing and dying for him is now as easy as falling off a log. It becomes an everyday matter. The same goes for Stalinist thinking. He will regard killing as a religious observance, as something very, very legitimate. He will regard it as a normal part of life, like sport or having fun. The most effective action that can be taken against Marxist-Leninist ideology is to expose, with full supporting evidence, that the ideology has no scientific basis. It is impossible for an ideology that is unscientific to gather supporters or survive especially when that ideology claims to be scientific. An ideology that is defeated in the face of science can obviously enjoy no prestige. That is why it is so important for the state and all the organizations of civil society to use all their means to tell people of materialism's defeat at the hands of science and technology in the 21st century, when people are told with full supporting evidence that the materialist error that the universe has existed forever has been refuted by the Big Bang. That not one single protein can form by chance. That more than 350 million fossils prove that evolution never happened. that there has never been any evolutionary process in the course of history and civilization, and that countless branches of science, including biology, zoology, archaeology, biogenetics, and biomathematics have irrefutably discredited all the claims of Darwinism. 
the organization's Marxist-Leninist propaganda will no longer have any effect on anyone. In the same way that we say Islamic Union is inevitable and will certainly happen. By interpreting the system of the Mahdi in its own way and changing its form, by altering the good things that the King Messiah and Hazrat Mahdi, peace be upon him, will do, the way of the Dajjal turns them into something totally different, but by using exactly the same language. They have their profound beliefs, just as we do. They have that same faith. But their faith is a satanic one. We believe in our Lord. We say, the morals of Islam will definitely rule the world. And they say, the dictatorship of the proletariat will rule the world. We say, things will be as they were in the time of the Prophet Solomon and Dul Karanayim. And they say, that early communal lifestyle will return, it will be the same. We say, we will sacrifice our lives willingly for Allah. And they say that they will sacrifice themselves for communism. That is why we are dealing with a kind of religion. But the state does not recognize the existence of Marxism as a kind of religion. And so, that religion grows. And that is what they want. They want there to be no opposing view, so they can grow with ease. Opposing ideas will neutralize them. That is obvious. We are doing everything, they say, but they are doing nothing. And without that, there is nothing. That is the main thing. That is 99% of the issue. Intellectual propaganda and counter-offensive anti-Darwinist and anti-Leninist activity. But that is not happening. All they look for are political and military solutions. But political and military force cannot produce results. The jugular vein that nourishes terrorism is Darwinist and materialist ideologies. But anti-Darwinist, anti-materialist intellectual activity can sever that jugular vein. And without that nourishment, terrorism ceases to exist.